Hello you. You ready for this? I'm not sure I am. The Adventures of Basildon Bond. Oh dear, this was quite probably... What am I saying? Quite probably... Well, I've been saving this one for last, but then I thought that's not exactly fair to end on real down note on the uh, 10 Compute Hits 3, but this... Mm, don't recall getting a great deal of enjoyment for this one. Looks bloody horrible. Plays terribly. <laughs> and and it's based on Russ Abbott. Now, if if you're unaware of who Russ Abbott is or was, um, he was a comedian in the 80s. Well, he's still technically a comedian now, I suspect, as funny as he ever was. Um... um Look him up on YouTube. If you look at Basildon Bond, you'll see it's ever so clever. You know, Basildon Bond is a type of notepaper, you see. And James Bond is a spy. So it's, 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 it's right up there with the Brooke Bond tea, uh, tea bag adverts, where they had Brooke Bond. Only this is Basildon Bond, and it was done after those, so it wasn't even an original joke. And such clever things, instead of fighting Dr. No, he fights Dr. Yes, and... It's not even Austin Powers' level of humour. Um, that said, I was a child at the time and I found it funny, but then children are fucking idiots, aren't they? And quite happily play in their own shit a lot of the time. So, um, there we go. Um, yeah, I'm putting off pressing fire here, aren't I? Let's, let's, let's do it. Russ Abbott has been kidnapped. You have to, or you actually have to put up, up to go. I don't know what that is. Mm, I'm holding a key. It looks like you can only hold one thing at a time. Okay, it's got, no, I'm not going up there then. Yellow jersey there for the Tour de France, is it? I don't know. There's a boot. Oh, that was fair. There's a boot. I don't know what that is. A magnet. Magnet, probably not good against a disc. That said, let's take said disc. Oh, the instructions said fire and up. Ow! Oh, I didn't want to... I'm holding a boot. I didn't want to hold the boot. I wanted to teleport back to the computer to put the disc in to see what happened then. Mm. Oh. Yes, if you press fire and move a direction, you fire off one of your Cooper blasters. That was one of Russ Abbott's other characters, Cooperman. Like Superman, crossed with Tommy Cooper. Now, Tommy Cooper was a comedy genius. Russ Abbott basically copied that, his thing, a bit, really, and... Can I just drop down here? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's as terrible as you think it would be. I can't get past there, then, can I? I drop down here. That just kills me outright. Okay. This is the game. You go around, you collect things, you get hit by various things. I mean, yeah, there's plenty of collect em ups around, but. Mm, there's that disc. That's. I've got a magnetic disc. What happens if I put it in here? No, I just teleported him. Computer on. Yes? You have no joke or answer. No answer. No answer. Yes? Computer on. Do I still have the disc on me? What's the boot for? And you could say, oh, look, there's a load of debts. You've got to work out what the jacket is for or... What's that magnet for? Can I walk right? No, you can't walk right that way. What's this thing? I have a reel of tape. Is the reel of tape going to help me in any way at all? Um, damn. Oh, right. Yeah, we go back to the start, don't we? Can I put a reel of tape in this thing? No, but I can accidentally use it one of my Cooper blasters. 
<sighs> oh well. This was such a boring game. <laughs> Obviously, Crazy Comets got loaded up a lot more often. See, it doesn't even help me there. I thought, well, I'll use it. And, but, and randomly as well, it's not always Cooper, Cooper Man who turns up. Because, hilariously, Bella Remberg played... Well, I've got no way of getting past him, have I? Unless I... Can I... Play Blunder Woman, who was a clumsy... Should we say large-boned? Be polite. Um, lady. In a wonder... Yeah, an oversized Wonder Woman. How hilarious. And she was clumsy, so she was Blunder Woman. Uh, yeah, she might turn up and ricochet around the screen. I think possibly actually do a better job than Cooper Man. I didn't mean to warp. Uh, I picked up a jumper. I just noticed that. Yes, we have five hours in which to save Russ Abbott. Pub? I'm sure he's a lovely guy. But really, a computer game based on one of his characters? Just... I mean, I suppose it could have been worse. It could have been his teddy boy character, couldn't it? But actually, I mean, could it be worse? I don't know. Right, if I hold the powerful magnet, those things don't move, then. Perhaps. I've got a radio cassette player. Um, I've got no way of getting past this guy now, have I? What am I thinking? Oh! No. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Yes, I can get it. There we go. I don't know what the radio cassette player does. Oh, bloody hell. Right, now I have to wait for that thing to go and then charge after it. I mean, if you're being generous, you could say it's a bit like Mission Impossible. Yeah, I've got no way of getting past you now, have I? Unless I use a... Oh, firing up warps me, doesn't it? Keep bloody forgetting that. Hang on, there was, was that a reel to reel? I wonder whether a reel to reel tape will fit in a radio cassette player. I mean, it shouldn't, but I'm wondering. Oh, hang on, I'll put it up there, that's handy. There is nothing here. I've got a reel of tape. Okay, well, that didn't really help me, did it? <laughs> oh, balls! Forgot about that. And there I am back at the start again. Infinite lives, but your time runs out. So not really infinite, Rob. <clears throat> Never mind me. This thing is numbing my brain. Not in a good way. Right. Can I get him? Yes. There's no way of replenishing those either, so um, once you've used those ten times, um, you're stuffed. Unless there is a way of replenishing them, but I was completely unaware of it. See, so now I've got to use it here, haven't I? Up, down. You can basically just about steering up, up or down a bit. Oh, I forgot about this. At least we don't have to use one here. My, that's an awful lot of brown on screen, isn't it? <clears throat> Think, what am I going to... Mm. No! Oh, bloody hell! So fortunately, those other ones just cost me a bit of time, I think. But the cameras kill me. The cameras really hate Russ Abbott. Oh, balls. I might as well use that. Um, can't search here at the moment. What do you mean, search? Is 
So there's nothing I can do in here after wasting all of those. You know what? I'm walking out of there. And I'm going to sit down. Because it turns out this one takes longer to play than I thought. Jesus, I've been playing for 10 minutes already. It only feels like a lifetime. <clears throat> Let's pick up the boot for whatever reason. I don't know. Well, what a thrilling studio that is. They've got a. I mean. I've got no words. <laughs> Right, so we haven't seen Blunder Woman. But at least I can now drop down there, break my legs in the process, and then go up to here. There's nothing here. Looks like a TV to me. You've got a video cassette. And that helps me how. Oh, headphones. Oh, headphones probably goes in the. You have found an answer to a joke. A dead parrot. Right. You know what, let's take those headphones and plug them into the stereo when we see that. Nice! <clears throat> oh well, maybe we can... Um... No, because we need to have the disc. Oh, for pity's sake. Where did I leave the disc now? Where did I leave the tape deck? Um... There's the tape deck at least. Let's see if we can combine these two things together. Um, I can switch between them. I can get it to say there is nothing here. The face has taken your joker answer. Right, well, I, I, it was a dead parrot. It's wiped my brain, has it? Is that standard practice at a uh, Russ Abbott gig? Mm, uh, somebody somewhere has probably done a full walkthrough of this game, haven't they? I can't do that now, can I? Because I've not got any Cooperman. Um, I need to go get that disc. Not that I've got a joke to use. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to be searching for jokes either. I mean, I've just got lucky on that one. And no, before you ask, I'm not going to be doing a second playthrough of this. This is definitely not a... Ooh, another... One more go. I can't search here at the moment. Why can't I search in places? I mean, that doorway up there is now completely inaccessible. There is nothing here, there is nothing here. I mean, what's that? Is that a junk, junk kettle, wasn't it? An electric kettle, okay. Which is about the size of... half the size of him... Uh, now, can I...? Probably not, but we'll give it a go. No. Oh. Piss. Computer on. You have no joke or answer. No joke in computer, no answer in computer. I've got a dead parrot. Will that not do? And do I really... Can I not leave the disc here now? Oh. Damn. I keep accidentally... You've got to remember, don't move up when you're holding down the fire button. Unless you want to head back. And what are these white things? Are they bins? Sheets of paper? I mean... Teeth? I mean, the scale on this is all over the bloody place. Uh, I'm losing the will to carry on here. Uh, somebody somewhere has probably done a full walkthrough of this, haven't they? And they are probably absolute psychopaths. 
down. I wanted to walk then and I didn't. Did I say I wanted to walk? I think I want to play something else. For that sheer bloody minded determination. And possibly a streak of masochism I'm sweating <laughs> is making me continue. There is nothing here. There is nothing here. I mean, there's nothing. Why is there a lift up to there? I can't seem to search anything up here. Am I supposed to drop something up there? Because I don't know how to drop things without swapping over for something else. Let's pick up the kettle, shall we? What good that'll do us, I have no idea. No, let's keep the disc, because we want the disc, don't we? What I need to do is get past this thing. Ow! <sighs> Still could be worse. I'd be playing something on Xbox One or PS4, couldn't I? Um, <laughs> no, I didn't want to go that way. Notice the clocks. Time left, 2.44 two I've used, and it's still saying... Put is that quarter past twelve or is that three o'clock? Uh -huh. No idea why there are faces floating around like that. I mean, whether that's meant to be like Les Dennis going around stealing these jokes or something, I don't know. Is that meant to be a dig? No, so I can't get through there. I can't use the disc here. Up does nothing, down does nothing, left and right does that. Hold down fire and left and right and down, nothing happens. If I'm holding down fire and push up, he walks back to here again. Just press up, just press down. I can search, but I can't. I can't leave the bloody disc here. Unless the idea is I swap it with the boot here that you never really wanted. So what do I do with a reel of tape? I mean, surely the stereo goes with the head the headphones. I don't know what the keys are for, either. Um, yeah, I'll go and get the stereo again, I guess. For some unknown reason, I don't know. Hey, look, I don't have to walk back. nothing there though. Should I try and run past him and over that way? Uh, might as well. And there we go. Now what was in here? Oh right, yeah. Um, yeah, helpful. Powerful magnet. What happens if I... Aha! What do you get when you dial 999? Right, so magnets mean I can walk past them. But I've just got to avoid those guys nicking my joke. What do you get when you dial 999? What do you mean aside from the police? You have lost the object you had. You had. Why you, you? What do you get when you dial 999? Well, you get the police. I think the original isn't the joke what happens if you dial 666. Well, I'm carrying nothing, oh buggering hell. What happens if you dial 666? You get a policeman standing on his head. You know, this, this is Russ Abbott level of high humour if you're five. Um, hmm. So now I'm carrying nothing. I've got no jokes. I don't have a magnet anymore either. I've left the disc or somewhere else. Oh. Let's get this over with, shall we? 20 minutes of my life. My God. Oh no, there's the disc. But it's useless because I don't have any jokes. What happens when you dial 999? 
a dead parrot. But yeah, that's probably about as funny. And at least a bit more unexpected, less predictable. But nonsense jokes are grand tradition, aren't they? I can't search you at the moment. Why? Why can't I search there at the moment? Because you're on air, filming a TV screen there with a giant head floating around and me moving the lift up and down. Just... Uh, I wonder how much they paid for the licence. Well, the kettle's not going to help me, is it? Can I drop down this... Uh, no, I can't drop down that way because the door's there. Um... I have a kettle, watch out. Right. 3.39. 20 minutes and Russ is dead. Apparently he's been uh, kidnapped by a um, rival comedy duo, I think it was. So I'm assuming it's Hale and Pace. Um, uh, it doesn't really make any difference which way I go, does it? So why I'm turning back, I don't know. I might as well just go this way. Mm. There we go. Right, one more should do it. I have a kettle though, so I can make a cup of tea. Well, I could boil some water. I don't have any tea bags. Of course, that would be Brook Bond, wouldn't it? Not Basil and Bond, so that makes sense. Uh, looks like it's quicker to kill myself to go through the other door instead then. Oh uh, well. Uh, yeah, hello, it's me again. Don't mind me, I'll be back in a minute. There we go. That's... what? It said four hours. Don't tell me you have to keep going regardless of whether Russ Abbott is dead or not. Oh, yay. Yay. <laughs> yes, I, I am not going to be loading this one up again. Um, four, four hours ten. What? Hold on a minute. The instructions... Oh yeah, Jeff Cape Strongman Challenge. That wasn't a great one. That was still far, far better than this. Um. Oh Christ! Five hours. <sighs> no one wants to watch twenty-five minutes of Basildon Bond, do they? I mean, I certainly don't want to play twenty-five minutes. But hey, here we are. Uh, uh, um, down. That's quicker. <laughs> right. You might want to skip forward a bit on this one, he says, to no one in particular, because they all stopped watching ages ago. I definitely need to play something better after this. But, uh, who was it who mentioned this and reminded me? Because I've been meaning to play it for a while. Was it you, Blurkatron? Or was it... Super, no, uh, bear with me here. Gav Ninja. We shall blame Gav Ninja for this. You'd think falling onto a camera like that would damage the camera more, wouldn't you? Still, I was carrying a kettle. I'm trying to think of nice things to say about it. And at least his footsteps are synced to the sound effect of his, you know, even if that does happen in, air, in the air as well. He walks through the air, like Alan Jones. And I'm dead in the corner. And there's nothing you can do. A couple more and there we're done. And then we can play something nice instead. That'll be nice, won't it? Yes. Uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. <laughs> it's like he got lost. There we go. 
one more should be enough to seal Russ's fate. Oh yes, he, he's not got a beard or anything, he, he's got a balaclava on. You see, that, that's why he looks like that. I'm not, well... I think probably lack of artistic talent is why he looks like that, but... I, that's what they're trying to get at. I've just realised as well, um... That guy is a bit bigger than me, isn't he? He also looks a bit... I don't know. Is he sitting side saddle on that camera or something? Oh, you know what? I can't even be bothered going back up and left. There we go. End it all. There we go. Congratulations, you have a high score. No, 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 no. There we go. Probe software. <sighs> well, I suppose we've all got to start somewhere, haven't we? Hmm. There we go. And that's the title screen again. I'm going to press fire once more. Well, once more here to start. And let's. Um, no. There's Cooperman. Being as useless as ever. That really helped as well. I just want to see if Blunder Woman does turn up at all. Ah, there we go. There's Blunder Woman. There you go. You were all waiting for that, weren't you? Ah, there we go. Basil and Bond can die in peace now. Bye bye, Basil and Bond. Bye bye. There we go, Basildon and Bond on the Commodore 64. Hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, you're a bloody maniac. <laughs> Catch you on the next one, maybe, which will hopefully be a much, much better game, because I, I struggle to think how it could be much worse. But, uh, yeah. Catch you on the next one, maybe. Ta-ta.